if Amla, who's not playing, had a good record against Bangladesh, how about starting your career on not the best bowling track in the world at Mirpur? His first three wickets in ODI cricket came consecutively. They were hat-trick. Went on to get the best bowling figures on debut by any bowler in ODI cricket. That was KG Rabada against Bangladesh. So he'll have memories of that. Look at that. Uh, six ODI, 13 wickets against Bangladesh. Fabulous average. And I think he'll he'll say, okay, this is the opposition I like. Just give me the ball. He's probably already Bumbra. out there marking Rabada, his Bumbra. I've been waiting to ask Robin. <laughs> I, Rabada's playing today. For me, yeah. uh, Bumrah. Yeah, yeah. Rabada, why? because cleaner action, Rabada. Cleaner action. Uh, this one, he, he's he's a little more uh, non-traditional, uh, yeah. Jesse. So you know his variations are really last minute because he's got a straight arm, and then last minute when he's releasing, he does that or he does that, and that's that's quite hard to pick. Uh, but with Rabada, I I don't mind the pace honestly. So. Yeah. So I, I I think I prefer uh, Rabada to, to Bumrah. He'll, he'll let it. You'd rather yeah. that trademark shimmy down the wicket to Rabada than yeah, to for just sure. beat Bumrah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But he'll let it slip today. He will let it slip today. Yeah, for sure. I think I think I think Rabada will really come out and bowl bowl his heart out today. You know, because he's the kind of guy who really wants to take the onus on himself uh, as a performer, as a as a bowler, uh, and he wants to be that leading bowler for South Africa. You can tell with the way he uh, he goes out there and performs, and you know holds himself and he holds holds himself accountable for his performances. So you know that you know he's going to go out there and and be try and be a beacon for for South Africa for the as far as the bowling lineup is concerned. Also, with no stain in the lineup, he has to be the leader of the attack yeah. which has been anyway for the last uh, year year and a half he's, he's functioned as a leader right. anyway uh, but he didn't have uh, Ngidi for most of the time because he's been in and out with injury now if both of them are firing I mean for a start it politically it looked great because people never thought that you could have two black fast bowlers bowling together for South Africa so that that's great in a sense because two proper young quick fast bowlers that'll, that'll be fantastic